Hi, and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those who are wanting to really rock their lives and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. In January this year, if you had told me that there would be no planes flying by March and that the world would be shut down and I would not be traveling this year, I never would have believed you. My normal life for the last 20 years has been flying around the world as a professional speaker, six to nine months of the year, either speaking for corporations on preventing burnout in the workplace, running women's health seminars, or teaching intuitive aromatherapy workshops around the world using my aromatherapy insight cards. That's all about teaching about the emotional benefits of essential oils. And I'll talk into that in a future episode. But this year, truly, <laughs> this, this year just hasn't happened and the flying didn't happen. All of my gigs were cancelled and it's been great for two reasons. First, it's given me the time and the drive to take all of my work online, like even this podcast, and that really excites me. Well, it excites me now, but for the first few days when all of a sudden everything was cancelled, I went, what? Really? Like, what? And, uh, you know, it kind of went, oh, I was lost for a moment. It was the last thing in the world I expected to happen. And then I knew that wasn't going to help me. So I looked for the gift in it and I made the commitment to come out of lockdown stronger and fitter and healthier in every area of my life, like physically and emotionally and financially. And I absolutely have. So this is what I wanted to speak into this episode. You know, there's lots to it, but I really want to share with this one about some extra things I've been doing to stay healthy physically and emotionally and with a strong immune system through these really interesting times right now. So the biggest thing I've been doing is really focusing on super antioxidant foods and supporting my body systems. Now, I'm a really big fan of nutritional cleansing, and I'll speak on that in a future episode too. But today, I want to focus on the spicy side of life. So let's get into it. Now, my favorite absolute spice is garlic garlic is nature's natural antibiotic now i love that us naturopaths have been prescribing it for forever and science is finally catching up i read a study recently about a 12-week study that found compared to a placebo garlic reduced the number of participants with the common cold by 63 percent 63 percent like garlic alone, just that, without all the others I'm going to talk about today. Garlic supplements have been known to increase. Yeah, it's one of those super antioxidants, which is super cool. Um, it's also excellent for helping to reduce oxidative stress in people with high blood pressure. High doses of garlic have always been shown to be potential to protect the body from things like heavy metal toxicity. It stops our blood being sticky and clotting, which, and I've used it as a preventative for DVTs, deep vein thrombosis for flying long haul for the last 20 years between countries. And the easiest way to take garlic, guys, and this is, this is my favorite way I take it, so is to get a clove of garlic and chop it up really small. Well, you gotta peel it first, peel it first. Chop it up really small. Now, the active part in garlic is called allin, but when we cut it, it becomes what's called allicin, and that's what makes it the potent antibiotic that we use. So you want to make it chop it small enough to be able to put it in a glass of water with like an inch, sorry, a glass with about an inch of water over top. And you, you swoosh it around and then you swallow it whole, not chewing it. You just take it like a shot of bedtime and it works really well. So when we swallow it whole, we don't get the smelly breath. That's it. It spends all night scavenging. And in the morning you do a really aromatic poo and that's okay. Or if you're in North America, you guys say poop, we say poo. And you don't smell the next day. And it, garlic just loves to scavenge. That's what it does. So it just all night, do the poo and just boosts everything up. There are so many benefits to garlic. It really is quite crazy. And it is the easiest thing to integrate on your day-to-day -day life. It is a, a regular thing that I take uh, during winter, let alone during COVID. You know, I'm a three or four nights a week. I'll just pop a clove before bed. Super easy because it works. The next one is cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is really warming on all of our body systems. 
and it's excellent for supporting our gut chemistry. And I actually add a teaspoon of it to my nutrition shake that I start my day if every day. And it helps to fight off colds and things because it's an immune system stimulator. Plus, it, it's great. Another one for preventing sticky blood, which is important for our health. It inhibits, um, in, you know, it's like an anti-inflammatory and also is really good for any blood sugar issues. So you diabetics, type 2 diabetics, get it into your health, like on a daily basis. I'm just going to jump back to garlic for a moment and say, with garlic, don't go buying a garlic supplement that's, you know, odorless because they're taking out the part that you actually need to get the best health benefits from. So you're better off just to use your own clove of garlic from home than buy an odorless supplement. Just wanted to throw that in there. I nearly forgot that and it's really important. So we've got garlic, we've got cinnamon. The next one is cane chili. And this is the ultimate spice. I grow a lot of chilies in my garden. I'm a really big eater of pickled chilies pickled chilies and all that I'll make that myself and I'll teach you how I do that in a future episode because I pickle my own ginger, I pickle my own chilies, I pickle so many things. It's really good for you. Uh, but also I'm a big fan of kimchi, like the Korean kind of food. It's really, really good. So it's easy to have the pickled versions always on hand. That's the thing. I like it from long-term storage and I can grow it through the season. Then I've got plenty in stock before the next season comes. So that's why I like to preserve it that way. And chili in particular, I really like the cayenne chilies because it's a super antioxidant loaded in things like vitamin C. And studies have been shown that it is a really, really effective natural antibiotic. So it's awesome. Another spice I grow in my garden is turmeric and it's become really kind of faddish and popular over the last few years. Super easy to grow like ginger. And turmeric is a potent anti-inflammatory, but also a super antioxidant. Like get the color in it, guys. It is bright, vibrant orange. And it's excellent for helping to bide, to fight, you know, those kind of imbalances. So I'll show you more on how to dry how to grow turmeric and how to dry it and, and preserve it and all that kind of stuff in future episodes too. These are simple things that you can do at home. And I really we're gonna have a whole cooking session in these these podcasts and also how to grow those kind of foods for yourself and how to preserve them. So, but not today. Today, we're just talking about this. So then to wrap up the spice, then the next spice is ginger. Now, whether you have it as a tea, like ginger tea, you know, get a knob of ginger, slice it finely or chop it finely, put it into a teapot, boiling water, drink it as a tea. Uh, I'm not a fan of tea bags just because you can't, you don't, can't ensure the quality of so many tea bags. Uh, and in a country like Australia, you know, our quarantine is so tough. You just don't know what processes it's been through to meet quarantine standards. So I'm not a fan of uh, like tea bags, but getting the fresh ginger yourself, chopping it up, do it. If you live in the subtropics and tropics, grow it yourself. It's dead easy. Uh, well, the other way is I really love ginger shots. So ginger shots is where I'll grab like a three inch knob of ginger throw it through a juicer or otherwise I'll just put it into my blender with a bit of water. Do you like the sound? It sounds like that. And then I, I scull it. That's it. It's like taking a shot of pure ginger. Now it is really cool. Ginger is a, another super antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory, super easy to grow. I actually grew five kilos of it in my garden this year, this season. And it was so easy to pick, to, uh, to pick or to harvest. I harvested my ginger and then I pickled it. So I've pickled half of that batch. You know, I pickled about three kilos. Like you get the, the pickled ginger in Japanese food. So easy to make guys like crazy. And I promise I'll teach you those things in the future. Um, I might call it, might call that episode hmm, how I like to do things naturally or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. But either way, you want to bring spices into your health because that day-to-day -day life benefits of having spices, it's, it's endless. So spices are big. So remember the turmeric, the ginger, the chili, and the turmeric, ginger, chili, and cinnamon. Uh, the, they're your, your four key kind of spices to bring into your health. I also want to talk about bitter greens. Now, uh, bitter greens uh, are things like, you, and I grow in my garden, I grow all the Chinese greens, which are really good. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, although my Brussels sprouts I'm growing at the moment are just the Brussels. There's no sprouts, not yet. Still waiting for those. Cabbage, I harvested the most gorgeous looking um, sugarloaf cabbage today. Can't wait to eat that. 
uh, kale, I grow that in my garden, radishes are nice and easy. Uh, Aruglia, which is in Australia we call rocket. So the bitter greens are really packed with vitamins, things like A's and C and vitamin K, minerals, uh, calcium, potassium, magnesium, super antioxidant, super high in fiber and protein. And this is it, guys. They have, they're, they're like digestive system ma magic. They're, they're digestive bitters. So this is because they provide the prebiotic material to sustain gut health. And prebiotics are the foods for good gut bacteria. Really important. Remember, your gut feeds your brain. I'll talk about that in another episode. It's so important. You know, you can be eating the raw, vegan, organic, paleo, keto, whole foods, whoop de doopy diet. And if your gut chemistry is out of balance, you're not even going to pick up the nutrients. So really important. We need to be feeding the good gut bugs so that they survive. And a healthy gut biome not only aids our digestion, but it keeps our own overall kind of health in really good stead. So that's important. And then another super green, this is actually part of my regular day-to-day -day kind of life, but I wanted to talk about it because it's big. And that's, it's not a bitter and it's actually parsley. People like parsley? Yeah, parsley. And this is something I do most days of the week. I am vegetarian and have been for a long time. And so I know the need to keep my iron levels up. And parsley is so good because it's a wonderful, rich source of iron, but also vitamin C. Vitamin C, that is your super antioxidant. Again, we need that for immune system. So I grab a handful, like a big handful of fresh parsley. I harvest it out of my garden, throw it into my blender with the juice of a lemon, also from my garden. Yes, I grow a lot of things in my garden. I love growing food and I'll teach you about that stuff in another episode too. And it's a seriously power-packed immune stimulant for my day. That's it. So easy and so yum. And I want to talk about the last extra I've really been focusing on during this time of this whole COVID-19 and lockdown, guys, because this is, it kind of overrides everything else. And that's about what I've been feeding my mind. Remember when I spoke in the Triangle of Health episode of the podcast, that was episode number two, guys, I spoke about how emotions show up in our physical health. And by the way, if you have not listened to that one yet, please go back. Check out episode two because it's really important. So I've been consciously listening to podcasts and reading books and being really aware and focused about what I'm doing to keep my mind in check. Not watching the news, not what getting caught up in all the drama, not doing the Facebook scrolling and getting caught up in all that stuff. Because I promise if you really have to know about something, you will find out. You will. You don't need to be feeding your brain that stuff on a daily basis. Don't let that negative stuff come in. I listen to positive podcasts and I read books that feed my mind positive vibes. It's a necessary part of staying healthy. So remember, if you also know someone who might need some more positive vibes, feel free to share this podcast. They might get value with some of these hints as well. So they're the main extras that I'm really focusing on in my health as extras right now to keep my health in check, to come from a place of prevention, not waiting to worry about my immune system being compromised and catching this COVID-19 thing. That's it. Physically and emotionally, I'm keeping myself in check. So for today's healthy life hacks, this is it. Are you ready? The healthy life hacks for this episode are... You might want to try on trying some of those spices or the bitter greens and bring them into your daily foods. That's the number one. The first one is bring some of the spices and bitter greens or parsley into your daily food consumption. Bring them into the cooking. By the way, if you're cooking the bitter greens, always use the lid, keep the lid on or any greens, anything like that. You want to keep the lid on so that the water soluble nutrients don't escape. Really important. Or you might want to try my sludge. If you've got some kind of immune system thing happening at the moment, try my sludge. This works a treat. I have prescribed it and lived it for the last 30 odd years and it works. It is a natural antibiotic. So what do I do? I get a whole garlic, not a clove, a whole garlic. Peel the bits off it. Chuck the, the you know, just kind of chop it all up. Uh, I, you don't have to chop it up really small, just kind of, but it needs to be chopped. Remember that Alan has to transfer to Alison. Really important. 
So the garlic, a whole garlic, a whole lemon, skin and all. So try to get organic, otherwise give it a good clean. We actually want the essential oils that's in the skin of the lemon. We want about a four inch chunk of ginger and then we want manuka honey to taste. So we get all those ingredients, chop, 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 chop. Doesn't have to be nice and neat, just chop, chop, chop. Throw them into a big jug. Add about a litre of boiling water and let it steep for at least half an hour. And then you add the manuka honey to taste. I actually prefer the taste without the honey. I really do. I think it's a really yummy drink. Now, drinking it this way, you will smell. That's it. But if you've got something acute going on and you've got symptoms, coughs, colds, snots, immune system things happening, I promise it's worth the smell. It really is. So this is what I do anytime I have any hint of anything and it's my extra immune system boost. That's it, guys. Simple, healthy life hacks you can integrate into your life from today. So guys, if you would like to get the show notes from this episode, go to my website, jenniferjefferies.com forward slash spicy and we will get those notes sent to you. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month I draw one lucky person who leaves a review on Apple Podcast to have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. If you would like to receive a free copy of my Feed Your Body ebook, simply click the link in the comments below and join my newsletter and we will get that free ebook sent to you. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. And until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.